Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be taking you through how to reinstall the firmware on an Atom PS01 millimeter wave motion sensor, which we'll refer to as the PS01 in this video. Now, hopefully, you will not have to reinstall the original firmware, and a simple reset of the device will restore the device back to life. But if for whatever reason you are not able to reset the PS01, then this video is for you and will bring your PS01 back to life. So let's get into it. So firstly, I should mention that if you have already loaded the PS01 to ESP Home, then you should be able to reinstall the firmware from there. But let's assume that you have tried that and it is still showing offline, even after the reset. If this is the case, then follow these instructions. You'll need the PS01, a USB-C or A to USB-C data cable. Just remember that the cable that comes with the PS01 is power only, so you'll need to source that data cable yourself. You'll also need the PS01 firmware. I'll put a link in the description to version 1.0 of the firmware. This one is confirmed as working, and I'll leave it up to you if you want to upgrade this later. Now plug in your USB data cable to your computer. Then plug in your PS01 to the other end of your data cable. Next, download and run the Pi Flasher. Links in the description for both Windows and Mac below. When Pi Flasher is running, you should just be able to expand the drop-down for the serial port and select Auto Select. However, if you want to check to see if the device has been recognized, press the Windows button and type in Device Manager and select Expand out the port bracket COM and LPT. You should see a USB serial CH340 on a specific COM port. That is your PS01. Navigate back to Pi Flasher. Press the serial port. Navigate to port COM4. Now download the firmware from the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, press the browse button and select your firmware and open. You can leave the board rate alone at 115.2K. The flash mode should be set to dual output. The arrays flash should be set to wipe all. We can now press flash node MCU. This will take a bit of time. Once completed, you'll get the message firmware successfully flashed. You should now unplug your PSO1 and restart it. And then follow the video in the description above for how to reconnect it back into Home Assistant. Well, I hope you found this short video helpful. I know it becomes very frustrating when a device becomes unavailable and doubly so when the factory reset doesn't work. In a recent poll on the channel, reliability came up as an important factor for a device. With this simple process, a device that you thought might be destined for the bin suddenly becomes back to life. So if you like the video and want to be notified of when similar videos come out, then consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon to be notified when similar videos come out. And if it saves your precious PSO1, then maybe consider buying me a coffee. See you on the next video.